Wheel speed sensors, this time it's on a Subaru Impreza. This sensor is using the digital type. You see if I go into there, it's saying 12 volts. That's back probed with it together, all connected up. If that sensor is disconnected down here, it will say 0 volts, but it is a digital type. Two wires going into the plug for the ABS sensor for the front left ABS sensor they're coming out of this sensor simulator 5 volts maximum 0 volts for peak 2 frequency of a thousand hertz 50% duty cycle it's just how it comes on when we switched it on but actually in the square wave here going into that and I'll switch the power the signal out I'll just switch that on so it's come on there and we can see straight away it's recognizing a speed. So for this alternating current that's generated, we're just using this sensor simulator and it's 145 kilometers an hour. So by changing the frequency, we could bring that down and change this and get different speeds. I'm just see, see it now, I've slowed it right down. 8 kilometers an hour and that's just 60 hertz you can bring this up 8, 9, 10 hertz and the speed has increased as I've done that We're now at 14 kilometers an hour so another use for the sensor simulator by Autosim Pro now I'm going to do the same test again with an adjustable signal generator that I got from eBay this cost about eight pounds. It has a range of one hertz to 150 kilohertz, and the output is five milliamps to 30 milliamps. I'm going to try it just at the 12 volts that I'm putting into it. It'll be the same 12 volts going out. It'll just be pulsed on and off. See if it works. It's a cheaper way of testing the ABS sensor. I'm going to do it through an LED test light just to keep the amp milliamps down and then I'm going to try it without the LED test light see what the difference is uh, like I say the maximum is 30 milliamps so it shouldn't be too bad I'll give it a try and see what happens test is going to be done again with this so by pressing and holding the frequency and raising it up I'll just stop about there's 50 and we're on this scale again and it's gone up, what, at 8 kilometers an hour. I'll raise this again. So there, about 292 hertz. And it's raised this up again when I did that. We're at 42 kilometers an hour. Using this um, thing that I got off eBay, it's a lot cheaper. But just to be safe, one of these output leads, I've got two leads that come from the battery at 12 volts, but the output, I didn't want to go too fast, uh, too many amps, I mean, didn't want to put too many amps out. So one of the output leads I've put through an LED test light, so that's just going in series, just to help slow the amps down. So that'll be about 10 milliamps on that LED test light. It just makes it safe. So it's another way of testing the digital ABS sensor using this as a sensor simulator. The exact same test using this, but I've took the LED test light out and I'm purely using this and nothing else. And it still works the same. We can change the frequency on here. I'm bringing it right down. So there's 40 hertz. And we brought it right down to 6 kilometers an hour. Hopefully this is going to help somebody. If you want to check your circuit for the ABS, if it's digital ABS, it should work on your car. Two different ways of testing it, both basically the same way. One's just a cheaper way than the other way. Thanks for watching.